Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and I'm proud to represent this CX500 Cafe bike here. It's been nicknamed the Evil Twin. It's a horizontally opposed V-Twin uh, Honda quality, of course, Honda CX500. And, and uh, as you'll see when Paul comes a little closer with the camera, you'll see the engraving on here, the Evil Twin engraving. This cafe racer was built by Black Sheet Cafe. This was the last of five bikes that the guy built. And um, we bought four out of the five, actually, uh, for our inventory here at the museum and at Captain Cycles. And uh, this one's being sold to raise revenues to finish the museum, as are the others. Uh, this bike is completely customized. The, the entire bike was a frame-off resto mod uh, in the cafe style, obviously, on a mint original CX500, one of the most reliable engines Honda ever built. It's a liquid-cooled uh, V-twin, so um, it's got a lot of character. And uh, everybody who sees it thinks it's a Moto Guzzi or something like that. People have no idea what it is. It's a, it's a Honda, genuine Honda quality. And uh, it's a 1981 model, so it's rock solid, reliable Honda quality. I wouldn't hesitate to drive this thing cross country. Um, starting, uh, I guess we'll start at the front of the bike. The uh, original Comstar mag wheel, the whole front end was dismantled. The Comstar mag wheel was painted and pinstriped, and it had a new uh, uh, Challenger. 190-19 front tire installed on it. That's probably got maybe 100 miles on it. Uh, the fork lowers were painted, the fork seals were replaced, the fork rubbers were replaced, the steering stem bearings were greased and adjusted, new braided stainless lines were installed, the calipers were uh, painted, uh, new brake pads were installed, uh, all of the bullet, uh, bolt covers were installed. Um, it has a uh, um, original CX500 headlight on here with custom Blinkers, let me show you the, the blinker package on this thing. It's really kind of cool. On a cafe bike, usually they don't even have blinkers, but to keep it legal, this one does. And they're, they're just, they're like jewelry. They're just beautiful and they're LED, so they're super bright. Um, just a highlight, uh, high and low beam work. And it has the, uh, on the back, if you come around the back side, I'll show you the rear blinker kit on this thing. Um, you've got the uh, rear blinkers in a spot that doesn't really affect the, uh, you got your nice brake light. Nice bright brake light, LED brake light. So all the electronics are, are uh, well sorted out on the bike. The bars are the traditional cafe uh, clip-ons. Clip they're not they're clip-on style, but they're actually bolted in the original Honda mount instead of up on here. Um, it has uh, uh, some really cool hand grips on it. The black and red. Um, it has the uh, bar and mirrors, black painted levers. The clutch is like butter on this thing. Uh, the gauge package is in mint condition. The master cylinder is painted nicely. Everything on the front end is well sorted out. Uh, the paint job on it is awesome. It's got a nice black uh, clear coat paint job with a checkered board uh, uh, vinyl stripe down the middle. And as the seat is absolutely beautiful. It's a custom made leather seat and it's been engraved with Evil Twin, uh, which is kind of, a, kind of a cool thing. And on the other side, both sides has a custom number plate, racing number plate with Lucky 13 on there. And if you look at the front of the bike, it's got Lucky 13 on the, uh, uh, painted on the uh, radiator, which obviously the whole engine was, was removed and reconditioned and repainted. Uh, when we got it in, we checked the valve clearance on it. It was spot on and we, we did the, uh, uh, check the engine compression. It had 190 pounds per cylinder. Um, and uh, the carburetors, uh, we didn't mess with the carburetors at all. All you do is check the compression to make sure the engine was good. The carburetors probably could use a little bit of adjustment. It backfired a couple times when I was riding it. But um, it pulls strong. The transmission, the best thing about this bike is the transmission. This thing shifts like butter. Um, it has a, a full custom exhaust with these bolt-on slip, slip bits on the rear, kind of a megaphone style that kind of turn out a little bit. Custom exhaust. Um, frame's been painted. The entire bike's been painted. Tank and the custom rear tail beast has been painted. Um, over $5,000 was invested into the rest of restoration and resto mod of this bike, uh, including parts and labor. And um, it's got a really cool uh, license plate mount on the right hand side of the bike here. In the rear wheel, this has a Metzler ME88 Marathon rear tire, which still has the hubs on, on the side of it. It's in 90% uh, tread left, tires in mint shape. The, the Comstar mag was all dismantled and painted. Um, and the aluminum was polished, and then it had a uh, red sh uh, strip put placed around the outside of it. Just a beautiful bike. I mean, a picture tells a thousand words, and I can ramble all day long on it, but uh, you get the idea. It's a beautiful bike. It's a Honda, and it's rock solid, and it's ready to rock and roll. Um, the only two things I would do to it is I would 
sink the carbs, uh, sink and clean the carbs, get the carbs sorted out perfectly, and possibly um, the front brakes uh, uh, calipers where it seemed a little bit tight, they uh, might have been dragging a little bit, so maybe a, a little bit of adjustment on the, or work on the front calipers. Other than that, everything seemed mint on the bike. And my, uh, from what my technicians told me and from when I rode it, I just rode it in. Uh, great bike. We've had a, a, some really cool cafe racers in here. This is, a, I believe this one and, and the uh, Sportster are the last two that we have. And we saved the best two for last. Bike's gorgeous. If you have any questions, give me a call, 860-916-9784. Uh, pretty much any time you can reach me on that number, it's my personal cell phone. Uh, you can check us out on the internet at the Kaplan Cycles website, or you can go on to our uh, YouTube page at uh, Kaplan Cycles, or on our Facebook page for the New England Motorcycle Museum. Good luck bidding, and God bless.